Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So let's see today's daily challenge on lead code and try to solve it together. So in today's video, I will show you two methods to solve your problem and both will be a DP solution. And uh, I will show how your thought process should evolve in thinking about this question. Okay, so I will give the complete intuition. So just stay till the end of the video and you if you don't understand any portion definitely feel free to ask in the comment section okay so let's see the question at first uh, alice plays the following game loosely based on the card game 21 okay so alice starts with zero points and draws number while she has less than k points during each draw she gets an integer number of the points randomly from one to max points where max points is an integer each draw is independent and outcomes have equal probabilities. Uh, Alice drop drawing numbers when she gets k or more points. They return the probability that Alice has n or fewer points. So uh, Alice is initially starting with zero points. Okay, so the things which you need to know in this question is that it is starting from zero points. It needs to cross this boundary of k points. Okay, not exactly cross. It can reach or cross this boundary of k points. And while doing so, it can take steps then the step size will be equally likely at every point. The step size you can take equally likely from one to max points where max points is an integer. Okay, so uh, each draw is independent and outcomes have equal probabilities. Alice stopped drawing numbers when she gets k or more points. And I hope uh, it makes sense to you. But in order to understand the question, what exactly we want, uh, let's try to analyze this example three because this is the only good example given out of the three. Okay, so uh, let's take uh, n is 21, k is 17, and uh, what is the another one? Was that max points is 10? Okay, so max points is 10. So what it what you need to do to so I will summarize the question at first. Initially you are at zero, and you want to go to k. Okay, you want to go to k or more. In order to reach that, you must take steps. Okay, you must take some steps. You can reach here, or you can do like this also. And uh, and n is somewhere here, let's say. So what you need to do is that uh, at every step, when you are taking a step, you can choose a step size from one. You can choose a step size from one to max points. Okay, the maximum step you can take is max points. And each of them will be equally likely. You will choose every one of them with an equally likely outcome. And you need to just cross this K. While crossing this K, you could have jumped somewhere here also. Above and okay. And so you need to tell me what is the probability. Okay, so what is the probability that you jump within N. Okay, so your jump is within N in reaching them. Okay, so, so in other words, you want... The probability of k of reaching k, the probability of reaching k plus 1, the probability of reaching k plus 2, all the way till the probability of reaching n. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Now, uh, if you, I hope you understand what the problem statement says at first. Okay, so if you try to plug in the values and now check, uh, what will you get is that you have 0 here and you want you have 21 as your n and you have k as your 17 so you need to just cross 17 or be on 17 from anywhere okay and so uh, what you need is the probability of 17 plus probability of 18 19 20 okay and also 21 so i hope you understand what do i need in this question and what does the question asks exactly to do now, uh, how will you think at first? You will see that if you want to reach some point, let's say you want to reach the ith point. Okay, how many ways can you arrive at this point? You could have stayed at i minus 1 and take a step of 1. It is possible very much. Okay, you could have stayed at i minus 2 and take a step of 2. That is also possible. You could have stayed at i minus 3. You could have taken a step of 3. In this way, you could have stayed how much, what is the maximum length of the step? It is max points, right? So you could have stayed at i minus max points. Okay. And you could have taken a step of max points. And you would have reached, reached i. 
okay so uh, doesn't this give you a hint of dp because what is dp we take a state i and we calculate that i from previous states okay so there is the intuition where you understand that we need to apply dp here okay and the dp transition is also really simple right because uh, you see first of all mm, you see that what will be dp i if i tell you it will be nothing but dp i minus 1 plus dp i minus 2 plus dp i minus 3 and all the way till dp i minus max points okay so i hope this dp state is also very clear to you okay so uh, if you try to write a solution on this so uh, while doing this you must also ensure that uh, you you have k right and you have n the final step you must be jumping from somewhere before k okay so the final step you must be jump jumping from somewhere because before k and you can see you can take two loops here okay you just you can use two loops uh, so the loops will be very simple so what will be dpi i hope you already understood but still let me clarify that dpi will be nothing but probability that you have reached the state i at some point okay probability you have so i will write it clearly okay so let me just write it clearly dpi means probability that you have reached i at some point okay so you see uh, when this i so how we will ca uh, calculate the final value how will you calculate the final answer after you just do the dp transition of this again and again the final results can be easily calculated also you see you want to uh, reach just before n right and between k and n you just want to reach i hope you understand that so after calculation of all the dp states from the i equals to 1 to dp i equals to n just in a loop of 1 to n you can easily calculate this and uh, you will just need to find something like dpk so your final answer will be something like dpk dpk plus 1 all the way till dp of n i hope you understand this because uh, we need to reach somewhere between n and k uh, inclusive of both and i hope you also understand why do i need to do that because because i, I just explained to you that uh, for 17 i just need to cross the border of 17 and reach before 21 okay before or on 21 okay so that's that the probability that i want to calculate exactly and you must remember to divide it by one by max points because the probability as in uh, of jumping each step is one by max points right because each point each of the steps is equally likely so you just definitely need to uh, think that that you need to divide it by this value okay so let me just quickly write the dp it will be a two loop you can easily understand that and whether it will give a tle or not let's see and how to optimize that also we will just check it quickly okay so let's see uh, we have some let's say vector of double which consists of dp and it is of n plus one okay and uh, we will have something like dp of zero equals to one why because initially what does dpi denotes dpi denotes dpi says uh, probability you reached you reached i at some point so what is the probability that you reach zero at some point you are starting with zero always so you, there is probability of one that you will uh, reach zero okay so that's that's easy to think okay so i will as i told you i will calculate all the values in dp from one to n and if you have understood the concept right you should try it on your own and do it in any way you like okay it's any way you like you can do it so you can see that i will go from one to n so what do i need you see uh, this i definitely i need because till i will go from one to n this i hope you can understand this the i will go from one to n and this value of j this is the j value right i 1 2 3 this is the j value and this j will go from just before i to max just be, uh, max points i minus max points okay so uh, this j will go from 1 to max points okay so i have a j which will also go from 
one of the experts. Uh, I hope this is clear to you very much. And you must like for all possible values of i and j, you will not do it definitely. When you are at i, you need to see that j must be uh, I mean coming from behind. Okay, so j must be less than i. So i must be greater than or equal to j because uh, you are jumping from i minus j to i. Okay, you are taking a step of j. So what you are doing is that you are jumping from dp of i minus j to j. Okay, to dp of i. So I hope you get the intuition, right? You do it in any way you want. I'm just doing this. And you must also make sure that you are jumping from a place uh, which is uh, less than k okay so i minus j should be less than k okay so th if this is true if this is true you should just do something like uh, dp of i plus equals to dp of i minus j uh, i think uh, if you do this and uh, what did i tell you what will be your final answer your final answer will start from k and go till n okay so you have an answer variable and uh, it will be double right because the final answer just returns a double value and you just go from i equals to 1 uh, not i equals to 1 right i equals to k to i less than equals to n i plus plus and you just do answer plus equals to dp of i okay so i hope uh, this was very clear to you and you just return answer if you try to run this and check uh, you see you get a wrong answer here. So let me see what was our error in the approach. So you see uh, I I did something like uh, I mean I did not divide it by max points. So as I had already told you you need to do that. You should not forget it to divide by max points value. So So you see we get the accepted case we have got an accepted what if you try to run this and check it is an n square solution right so you get a clear tle because of n square solution and you need to write something in o of n okay so if you see every time we are iterating for this you are you are using a loop right so for this thing you are using a loop but for i Okay, you see, you try to understand it in more depth. For i, you need i minus 1, i minus 2, all the way till i minus max points. This you have understood, right? So when you are going from i, i plus 1, what do you need? You again need i, okay? And you need i minus 1 and all the way till i minus max points minus 1, okay? So I have just shifted it, okay? I have just shifted it, so max point plus one okay so uh, i hope you understand this because when you are taking a step from i to i plus one your window uh, this acts like a window right so these values these values are the extra values these are there are so many extra values so you can just keep a window length a uh, window length of size one of size uh, max points okay so you can keep a simple window length of size max points and whatever so when okay so this is your let's say window and when you are adding a new element uh, you should also subtract one element so initially if you are doing initially uh, if you are just calculating let's say this is your dp array okay and your window length is something you are like iterating in this manner so at first the window is of size 1 then it goes of size 2 then you should keep incrementing the size unless it reaches a size of max points okay and then from there onwards you at every step you should subtract it subtract some element while add some element you should definitely do that and so yeah uh, and at the end you should also take care that you are just subtracting the value when going exceeding this okay so i hope you understand this i hope you understand this uh, it's a simple sliding window i hope you know what is sliding window and how to apply this and you should definitely solve this on your own from now on Okay, so I will just uh, remove this value and have a window. So I will have some double window of one. Okay, I will uh, initialize it by one and I will do simply dp of i is nothing but window by uh, 
uh, max points, right? I will do window by max points and uh, I will just iterate. So, so what will I do is that uh, if i is less than k, okay, so if i is less than k as you see, so till when do you need to add uh, something in your element of window? Okay, so till when you need to add, uh, you need to think that till I am not crossing my endpoint, I need to reach k and k is my endpoint, right? And till the time I am not crossing my endpoint, I will keep uh, adding elements in my uh, window. And uh, if some if something like i becomes greater than equals to max points, I also need to start decrementing, right? Uh, I so I need to also decrement something like dp of i minus max points. So uh, I hope you understand this. I am going to the left end of the window and subtracting it. But is this sufficient? You must also take care that and i minus max points this max point should also be uh, less, uh, coming from somewhere less than k okay so you are taking a step right you are taking a step and that should be at the final value that should be from less than k okay so i hope you understand this if i greater than equal to max points or i minus max points less than k you just subtract the window so in these cases you need to subtract the window so i already explained you you need to start subtracting elements from your window when your window has uh, exceeded a length of max points and uh, unless you are crossing the goal you can keep uh, incrementing this window length okay uh, keep incrementing the right side the right side uh, when until you reach goal until you reach goal of k okay so k is the goal starting from zero i have already explained you this and keep decrementing start decrementing start decrementing when you get a value of when you have a window length of greater than max points okay so i hope you understand i am trying my best to explain you okay so uh, if you did not understand still you can definitely free to ask me in the comment section because uh, if you are not aware of these approaches and if you have not done previously at first it may look a little bit difficult although the code is very simple uh, but I hope I was able to make things clear for you. Okay, I hope there is no doubts actually. So you see this also gives an accepted. Uh, let's try to submit this and check if it works. So you see it gives a wrong answer in case of zero. Okay, so uh, k can be zero. Okay, for if k is zero, you just return one because uh, okay, I, that, that's obvious, right? If k is zero, if k is zero, you just return one because you are only already at k or above k and you you are starting from zero right so if k is zero you are already above uh, above or equal to k and you know do not need to take any steps the probability will be less than n less than or equals to n is one okay n has to be greater than or equal to k so if you just submit it i think it should work now i think it should just work fine so you see uh, we also do get a 76 percent bits which is a good runtime complexity on this and the time complexity of this code is a simple o of n solution it is very linear okay so i hope you did understand the problem clearly about the sliding window as well as the dp if any portion you did not understand you are definitely free to ask me in the comment section i tried my best to make this problem as simple as possible so I hope your day, but I hope your day goes uh, really easy and not as hard as this problem. So thank you so much.